If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. 1 Peter 4.11 Be filled with the Spirit. Ephesians 5.18 Guidance of the Holy Spirit in the assembly. The ministry meeting started right on time that Sunday evening. A hymn was given out and sung, followed by another hymn. Several minutes later, a brother prayed, asking God to speak to the hearts of the ones gathered, that the speaker would be led by the Holy Spirit to speak the word as an oracle of God. All added their amen. Those gathered waited for the word from the Lord. They waited patiently as five minutes passed. The meeting hall was full. Most of the brethren were present, including those who would often speak, but no one stood up. Ten minutes passed, fifteen. The hush was slowly breaking. There was movement in the seats. Some felt uncomfortable. Finally, an old brother stood up, but strangely, rather than moving towards the front, he spoke from his seat. Their brothers, he said, One of us who is here is being disobedient. Let him minister the word that God has given him. And he sat down again. The hall was filled with expectancy. The seconds ticked on to minutes. When finally a brother stood up and went forward, a brother who had never spoken before, he opened his Bible and spoke from his heart the word that the Lord had given him to give. How beautiful! This true story illustrates the freedom of the Holy Spirit to use the vessel that he wishes to use to speak the message that he knows is needed. From a human point of view, it might seem to be bad organization, a waste of time, confusion. But from God's viewpoint, a message given for a certain heart with a need unknown to man, but very well known to God. For some it is easy enough to stand, speak, fill the allotted time. But is it really a message from the Lord? What maturity, what spiritual discernment, what fellowship with God is needed? Albert Block